and welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be swatching and doing a little bit of a review for the Faber-Castell black edition colored pencils um, basically they are said to be super soft and as you know polychromos from Faber-Castell are quite hard pencils so it will be interesting to see how these um, compare so to start with the casing the packaging this is just a cardboard package I, as you can see, I've ripped that already. I did actually rip that on stream during my haul when I was trying to get it open. So just so you know, it's not, it's okay. It's fairly robust. If you're not gonna use the pencils very often, you could keep them in the case because they do come in these um, sleeves to stop them rattling around so much. But if you're gonna be using them a lot, then you probably want to get them in a pencil case. So that's the box. I'm gonna put that to one side. Um, now I have since sharpened them after yesterday eagle eyes will notice that one is shorter than the other it broke on me when sharpening and I thought uh, that might be you know bad luck because they are they were quite sharp already so I thought it might have just been over sharpening but it did break two more times while trying to resharpen and if I um, poke it I won't do too much but it does it, it's loose in there as well so I think the core is cracked on that one Okay, I'm just gonna very quickly interrupt myself before I start this swatching and review proper. Um, basically, you'll see within this video that there I have some problem with some breakages. Here are the little pencil casualties. It breaks your heart, doesn't it? Um, but I did wanna just say that at the end, I do find a solution to this. So yeah, bear with the video. I'll explain at the end but there is ultimately a happy ever after to these pencils. So yeah, back to the video. But anyway, these are the 36 pencils in the set. There is a 12 set as well available and I'll be swatching on this. Now I've made this little swatch sheet because I'm a bit of a nerd. The names on here are all what I've invented myself. Unfortunately, these pencils, I'll just take one out again. I'll take out the white. No, let's take out a colour. Let's take out this nice green. So these are triangular pencils in a matte barrel. Um, and it does have the Faber-Castell name on, but it has no colour name and it has no number, which is a bit of a peeve for me. On the bright side, you know, they are colour coated on their tip and they do seem to be relatively accurate to what the pigment looks like at least in the pencil we'll see what it looks like on paper but hope i'm fairly hopeful that at least the colors will match what is in the pencil but we shall find out okay so i have actually put in the white in the swatch sheet i mean i don't really think there's much point because you can't see it i can see it um but we'll see it on the black. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. Being called the black edition, one of the things it, it mentions is that it is supposed to work quite well on black paper. So I do have a little bit of black card here to test it on after I've done the swatching on white paper. Oh, we can compare. But anyway, that's the white. I'm gonna go through these quite quickly because I want to um, get to the comparisons. And this is what I've called peach. So it's a bit of a skin tone really. A fair skin tone. Now that oh, it's still. I mean, they are quite soft, but they're not super soft. They're not a Prisma. Then you know what is a Prisma? So I've called this one Nectar. Okay, so that's a bit darker. I've taken the guess basically from just from the tips on the colour and also the the lead on these names so it's possible that the colors won't match what I've decided to call them but it doesn't really matter I just I just give them names for a bit of an OCD reason to be honest right so this is what I've called pink oh look it broke uh, that's not a good sign not after the orange right bear with me I will just sharpen it rest in peace little pink nib I'll put you up there let's hope this isn't like the orange and just is gonna go again they are a 
little bit, but they, yeah, they are softer. You can tell on the nib that they, you know, kind of a little bit of the wax sits there. So we have, right, so this is the dark pink. Rusty red, we'll see. And then we have the broken orange, so I have to be careful with this because, as I say, I could feel this. Um, is that the white one? Yeah, the dark orange. Um, I could feel this moving about inside the pencil. So I know this core is broken as well. Which is really annoying. I hate there we go. I hate when when a core breaks. Because it just feels so wasteful. As you can see, I just even though it broke, I was like, no, no, you will stay in there. Right, so that's the dark orange. That's not right. That's the trouble when things aren't named. Pick up the wrong one. <sighs> so, I mean, that is the light orange versus the dark orange. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. There is virtually no difference, though. I mean, the tip, to be fair, the tips are also not very different either. But those are very, very close oranges, which seems a bit of a waste. But on the bright side, if any pencil was to break, then at least it's the one that's virtually the same as this. Okay, so we'll just put them away. And so this I've done banana yellow. I'm so scared to press down hard now. Okay, maybe not scared. You know what I mean. So that's like the darker yellow, and then they've got a lighter yellow. Which is a little bit more neon-y. It's not neon, but it's a very, very, very bright yellow. And then we start moving into some greens. So we have what I hope is a lime green. And then this one's a bit darker, so I've called it a leaf green. Yeah, definitely more waxy. Look at the little bits that's just coming off. So that's a bit more like a Prisma. I'm quite heavy handed as well, so, you know, I do press hard. Okay, so this one I've decided to call Grass. Darker, so I've gone for moss. We'll see how dark. That one's broken as well. This is all the same tray. It'd be interesting to see if I have these issues with the with them breaking and the other ones. But that's a bit disappointing. I mean, I know these aren't these aren't super expensive pencils. They're, as I say, they're probably roughly around the same price as the Black Widows, or at least the original sets of Black Widows. A 
Yeah, hint of blue in this one. And then icons called this turquoise. Oh look, how rude is that? Pretty rude is what I'm gonna go with. You will stay in the pencil. Now I did just sharpen these with the Tegal. So it's possible that the pencil sharpener did it. Because I knew they were supposed to be softer and I tend to do my Prismas with the Tegal they're softer I did go with that but it's possible because sometimes sharpeners do make a difference so this one I've called cobalt which is very smart of me I was getting um, running out of names for blue in hindsight I probably should have looked at the fab you know the polychromo color names and picked some inspiration from that because chances are that some of the uh, colors will you know coordinate with their sets that's a nice blue that's a very very vibrant blue <sighs> okay so that's the first tray done let's see if the second tray has the same issue with the nibs breaking oh look oh no i thought i put sky twice but it's not it's dark sky right so this one I put it as a sort of, it was all, I couldn't make them, it almost looked like a grey. So I thought it might be powder blue, or it might just be like, yeah, I mean, it could just be a cool grey, to be honest. The other one, when it was in, when it, when we get up to it in the purples area, there's another one like that, which I decided to call a warm grey. So that makes sense that instead of being powder blue, that is actually um, a cool grey. Okay, so this is dark sky blue. I hopefully a lilac, uh, a bit dark for a lilac. And then I've gone for navy. Yeah. So that one is. Bit, that's how it compares to the, uh, you know, the painted tips. So they are, they do seem to be pretty accurate to their colour, which is just as well. Because as I say, they have no names or numbers on them. So if I want to do that, I'm going to have to put sticky things around them. So this is Reflex Blue. So basically blue with a hint of purple in it. Nice sort of midnight blue that. And then we start going on to the purples. We go on to this. Have I missed one? I think I've missed one. So let me just. I'll do this. So this is the one that I thought was the warm grey. I'm going to go from the back of this tray because I've got it all. I've missed one somewhere. So. This is the black. Which seems decent. It's not jet jet black, I don't think, but it's um, like a charcoal black. And then we have another cool. Oh. Okay. Um. 
I'm gonna have to I'll have to sharpen that one, that's not staying in. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, not impressing me with breakages. Now this is the chocolate. It was going so well on that second tray till then. As I say though, it could either be, I'm hoping that it's just the sharpener then that's caused this. I will leave them on my window ledge though to see if it will help if it is you know it only takes someone to drop one of these boxes there is no protection in it they are all you know it's just in a cardboard box so i've called this coco um they are just in a cardboard box so if it do did get dropped then that's not good so i called this one mustard one brick <sighs> very reddish brick and I, this one is hopefully scarlet red very similar to that one obviously but just a little bit more muted Magenta. They, they are, do seem very opaque because I'm not. I mean, I I do press hard, but I don't. Pr I'm not pressing that hard at the moment. So that I think was the one I called berry. Yeah, that that nib is loose. Another broken one. This is the salmon. That one's broken as well. Oh, I am so annoyed. Because they are laying down really nicely, so if they're all like this, then I'm not happy. Okay, so hopefully, we'll see if this is... That one's broken as well. Is that the same as that one? What have I done? Okay, I found it. This this one. This this is the mauve. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. We'll ignore that. Not mauve. That's mauve. Okay, so here we have then the um, how they colour on white paper. Uh, they are quite vibrant. And you know, and they go on really, really smooth. Obviously, the big problem at the moment is that I had quite a few of them break on me. Now, let's just really, really hope that was the sharpener that I used, because not all sharpeners get on with all pencils. But those are the swatches. Uh, let me just do a quick round then on the black paper. So yeah, we'll do the white first. So now it's on the black paper. You can really see how these um, dust up. <sighs> Not the most opaque white that I've ever seen, but let's see how the others go. And then we've got the peach. down too hard <sighs> this is the pink yeah 
the light pink. So this one. dark pink <sighs> sorry I probably blew straight down the camera there I'll try not to do that again and we have the what's that no that's the red thought I'd got them in the wrong order again then that's the red Dark orange, which is this one, and it's broken. Yeah, you will stay in the pencil. Be interested to see if these two oranges are different, more different on paper. So I'll do the still going up the top. I'll do the light orange here. So you can see a bit more of a difference in the two oranges. Not a massive difference, but at least you can tell the difference between the lighter orange and the darker orange more than you can on the white paper. But there's really not a whole lot in it, to be honest. So I will go back up what's this way. So this is the banana yellow. So that looks a lot brighter on the um, on the black paper. Let's see what the yellow yellow looks like because that's more like that yellow, and that does look more neony. Okay. So we got the this is what I called the lime before. So that's a bit more muted on the black. Like the yellow is um, affected by the black paper. And then this is the leaf. Something about the yellows in this is definitely more affected by the black paper because look, the grass is brighter on there. I'll just make sure I haven't. No, that is the. Or did I get them mixed up? Okay, yeah, so that's the grass and that's the moss. This is the perils of um, pencils not being named. So hopefully this is the, yeah, this is the, what are called aqua. Uh, don't break on me. Determined not to sharpen this one again. I mean, if I was colouring in a book, it'd be different, but for just swatches. So it's the turquoise, cobalt. And then last of this tray. We have the sky blue. Right, so that's the first tray done. I'll just show you briefly 
closer to camera. So this is how they compare. I've done everything up to here. So yeah. They do they are quite colourful though on the on the black paper and they do work quite well. And it does obviously change the colour being on black paper, but they are quite opaque. Well they're very opaque. Um, I'm not having to work at all to get that colour to be solid and it is quite bright so it is giving up the uh, goods on on the black card as I say the only thing that I'm really not impressed with so far are these two oranges which is one is darker and one is lighter but they are so close that there's virtually any difference so they could they could have put a different colour in for that one same with the yellows really it's almost like they ran out of ideas for what colour to use. But anyway, let's do the second tray. I'll do those again because I just realised I am out of frame. So this was the powder blue. And then this was the dark sky blue. And next we have got what I thought was the lilac. Though it is a bit dark for a lilac. does not show up too well on the black paper. Yeah. Okay, so the warm grey. See how it compares there because it's close to the what I thought was the cool grey. So this is the mauve. Hopefully I've got it right this time. Yeah. I hope the light's okay. A massive cloud has just come over. Like a massive one. They've been talking about um, thunderstorms might be coming which will be a relief to be honest after the crazy heat we've had for a few days but they've been saying we'll have thunderstorms for like the last two days and it just kept moving back and moving back and moving back so that was the berry so hopefully maybe finally eventually we'll get our thunderstorm and it might help clear the air so this is the salmon pink What was that? That was the scarlet. Mustard. I quite like this mustard. That's what it is in the on the white. But it's a nice, nice colour that. And then we have the cocoa. Let me see. 
No, it's not coming off on my fingers. It just occurred to me that I was had my fingers over them. See if any of that dust was coming up, but it's not. So this is the chocolate. That other cool grey. We won't see this probably, but this is the black. Yeah, so unsurprisingly, not a lot showing up there. But this is what they look like on the black card. So the ones from that first tray are really vibrant. I mean, super colourful. The ones in the second tray are obviously more, the ones with the blues in basically, are a don't pop out quite as much but this this is nice and the red stands out nice and the, and some of the blues I mean that blue that's the uh, that the aqua and no the turquoise and what I call the cobalt blue I think one of the nice ones no that was that was the cobalt and that was the sky and that was the turquoise and that's the aqua so yeah those are them on the black paper so what I'll do now is very quickly I will do a couple of side-by-side -side tests so we can look at these things and um, also along with the other pencils. Okay, so this was... I'll do it on white first. This was the lime in the Faber-Castell. And then this is the olive green in the uh, Black Widows and then finally well not finally then we have the green this is the green from the poly and then finally we, this is finally we have the green from the Prisma So I'll just do them through two prisms. Let's see how they blend. <sighs> so yeah, they do play well together. I would say, obviously, the prisma is still the softest. We do get the crumbling with the prisma what you do if I press it hard um, let me just compare it to the scorpion again so they are softer I'd say they're a bit softer than the black widows but not much they're much closer to being the black widows than they are the uh, prismas and obviously the polychromo is the hardest of all but yeah let's see if actually if they play well with the uh, polys and that is virtually the same green isn't it so that was the um what's that say Oh, that's just the light green poly virtually identical so it will if you have polys and you have these then they do seem to work together quite you know I don't think you can see the drawing so I'll just do the same again on the black paper and we'll see how it plays with the poly So here you can see the difference with how they work on black paper though, because look how opaque it is. I'm just going over with the second coat there. I've already done a second coat on the polys. This is the third coat. 
So you can see that is the difference between in their own pencils, Faber-Castell pencils. So this is the black edition and this is the polychromo. And you can see there's just it just doesn't have that same level of opaque. And for comparison, we'll do the obviously that's the Prisma. And what was the other one? Oh, and the Black Widow. Let's see. So the Black Widow, I think, so that tells you the difference, I think probably due to the hardness. So this is the Black Widow Scorpion and that is the Polychromo and both of them are, are not very opaque. And then you've got the Prisma and you've got the Black Edition. So yeah, definitely these are these are probably one of the closest pencils at, at the prisma end of the scale when it comes to softness if you like soft pencils these are nice these are nice soft pencils i i like i do like them that's why i'm so annoyed about the breaking tips right let's just compare the whites so i've got i don't have a polychromo white to test because i've only got a few open stocks but we can compare, so this is the black edition. Then we've got the Prisma, which is a bit brighter. And then we've got the Black Widow, which is the least opaque of all of them. So yeah, still when it comes to whites, Prisma is still, you know, king of the hill, but it's, it's it's still not bad. As I say, I can't actually compare the polychromo because I don't have a white polychromo, but that black edition, Prisma, Black Widow. And we'll do what, just one more with the yellows as well on this black card. So again, what do I have? Where's my yellow? Okay. That was what I was missing. Right, so this is, again, this is the black edition. Nice and bright, pretty opaque. Then we have the polychromo. Oh, I've picked up, that's a bit more orangey one. That's probably more like the um, banana yellow, isn't it? Let me try the banana yellow. So again, that's the black edition. So that's black edition banana, that black edition yellow, and that's the polychromo. And then we have the Prisma, which unsurprisingly is, do you know what? Actually, it looks like that black edition yellow beats the Prisma. Let's try it just underneath there as well. Yeah. So on that one, the black the black edition has actually beaten the Prisma, and this is the Black Widow, which again is not very opaque. So I think yeah, that is quite interesting. So in the greens that worked, in the in the whites it's pretty decent. It's not as good as the Prisma, but it's still pretty decent and as far as the yellow is concerned both the yellows um, beat everything with the opaqueness so that is quite impressive and I will just do one more on the white paper because I've got the black I've got a black I don't, again I don't have a black polychromo uh, where's that black gone and then there's right but I do have the black Prisma and the black Black Widow. So this is the black. <sighs> okay, so that's pencil dust. Definitely going to be a thing with these pencils, though. <sighs> right, so that's the black edition, and then we have the Prisma black. the Black Widow Black. Oh no, I 
picked up the wrong Black Widow. That's a Huntsman. So ignore that. That's not. I'm not going to go and get root out my pencils. We'll just have to go with these two. <sighs> right. So the black Prisma obviously wins still with that because that is a is a good black. Whereas that is more of a charcoaly sort of. I don't know. Sometimes they call it pavement black as well. So it is black, but it's just not not as deep if that makes sense but fairly decent so that is the i'll put some of them in there that is my swatching and my review um what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna trot off and i am going to quickly resharpen those pencils that broke on me but with a different sharpener um because i did resharpen two in the video I mean I paused the camera but I, I did two but I did that with a sharp with a different sharpener and neither of them broke the second time round unlike what the orange did so I'm going to try the other ones that broke and hopefully they won't re-break again but I will be back in a second from your point of view hold on okay and i am back and i'm happy to say it's good news oh i'm so glad so basically here are my casualties um poor little things but yeah i have resharpened all the pencils that were breaking on me including that orange one that broke on me several times before um i don't know why i didn't originally when these started breaking i don't know why i didn't try a different sharpener then Hindsight is 2020 and all that, but I've, I've done it now and um, Yeah, they are all fine. We are in business I'm so happy. There is nothing wrong with the pencils. It was the sharpener I did one thing I will say I did do it on one of them ones with um, You know you can have really long nibs and you can do some with short nibs you know a bit like how the prismas come with their um have i got one here like if it, if you compare like a prisma where it's got the short amount of pencils and then you've got the ones where you sharpen them longer that's pro that's not the best example but you know you know what i mean instead of being the long i chose the the shorter type to do it and that does seem to suit just like the prismas really so yeah super happy um the breaking the breakages was the only thing that i had reservations about i mean obviously the pencil dust i could do without but that comes with the territory i think with the softer pencils so i was loath to recommend them but now yeah these are nice really nice pencils i'll show again what they are on the black paper but i am looking forward to trying these out in an actual coloring book now I'll be sure to post a picture on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, then um, do. I'm by the same name, Pebbles Adult Colouring. If not, you'll just have to wait. I'll try. Hopefully, I'll be getting this done um, before the end of August, so you'll see it in my August finished pages. But yeah, I am so happy that these pencils are a winner. And as I, as we were showing, well, not where was it? I did it on the hit under here. They do play well with other pencils, including the harder pencils, the polychromos. Um, you, so, you know, no problem blending into each other at all. So, a good, a good addition. I'm really, I'm super happy now that they are not breaking. Anyway, if you found this uh, video useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Um, as that really helps the channel and if you're not subscribed then you know just tap it down below if you hit the bell then you will get a notification of any time i upload new videos thanks so much for watching we got there in the end it was a bit of a trial but we got there in the end and uh but yeah take care see you again soon and bye for now